It all comes down to survival. You don't care about the policies, the right or wrong, or what's moral or immoral. All you care about is your job, the next meal, the next paycheck, the roof over your head, your bills, or in plain language, how in the hell you're going to make it through the next day. Think about this, if a piece of shit slime paid you $90,000 a year to protect itself from flies, you will protect and defend it with your life. You know why? Because you have fear. A fear of the wilderness. A fear of being alone without any food, water, or shelter. Hell, the fear of not having help. Think about this. The fear that if you don't protect your elite master, then how would you eat? If your master disapproves of your disobedience, you will be cast away. No more support system, like a baby forced to search for his own nourishment. You're afraid of the very own system, the very own global elite, in which you loyally protect. You're afraid you won't have a piece of the resource when the gate come crashing down. You're afraid of not sustaining your existence. Whoops, look what I found. A weakness, your weakness. You like stability, which is the reason why we can't depend on you when tyranny shows its face. For you protect slimes of shit since it sustains your survival chance. So if you disobey it, guess what? You become a common man. A man that's forced to feed himself, shelter himself, protect himself. Simply put, you become a man that's forced to survive. I wonder why the elite gets away with their crimes. You're a loyal dog to the end. I'm trying to see five. Which do you want? To persuade me that you see five or really to see them? Really to see them. Point six oh. Point six.